got this really nice automatic chicken door I'm installing today. Um, I've been trying to figure out the best way to do this. I was going to cut a hole in the shed, like right here, but then I was thinking about it and these are sliding doors and if any of the screws stick through, or I would I would like to put like a frame behind it to screw it into. That would block the door from opening. And then uh, if I put it on the door, then the hood would also block the door from opening. So I'm just gonna keep this door all the way open. And I found these metal studs on the side of the road. Found a bunch of them, which is awesome. So I'm using these as a just a frame for it i'm gonna put the door down there and then i have some pieces of scrap uh poly roofing that i will just put above it and it'll be like a window and then i'll just close this door against it so it'll be um easy and it won't ruin the shed i can just take it out if i ever need to or change it pretty easily so I'm excited about that I figured out a way to do it and it should be pretty straightforward I don't have to cut any holes in the shed and potentially mess that up so that's good keep it easy all right about to install the battery and program this thing and it'll be all set So here it is. I really like this door. It's really pretty simple to install and right when I hooked up the battery it was already programmed to be in automatic mode with the daylight sensor. I covered it with my hand to test it out and it closed. And when I uncovered it, it opened up again, which is what it's supposed to do. You can also have it in manual mode um, so you can push the button and open it yourself. They also sell an extension for the sensor in case where you installed the door isn't getting enough light. But I think it'll work here because I used the clear panels so the sunlight should shine through and hit it. And they just have all the replacement parts in case anything breaks. It's just a really good company, so definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching. And I'm redoing this a little bit because... I didn't really think about it very much, and when they come in and out, the leaves and stuff get caught under the door, and it's just going to build up, and I'll have to constantly clean it, so I'm, make, I'm raising it up, so I'm going to build a little platform from this roosting bar here, uh, just to go over a little bit, uh, and they'll, they'll come out right here. Still figuring all that out, but shouldn't be too hard and then I'll just have a little ramp going down here on the outside This figured out now finally. Um, so, well, I had these stairs I found on the side of the road for like small dogs or something. I have this platform on the inside. They can also jump up to their roosting bars from there. So yes. It should work much better this way, they won't be tracking stuff too, uh, and getting stuck in here. Um, I just, I had this scrap piece of metal that, from what I cut off from here, what I put at the bottom. It has a little ridge on it, and I just bent it over, uh, like, bent it around the top of this piece, so that's how it's 
staying right there, and then I screwed it down to the platform. I might probably fill in this little gap with something too, but for now, I think it'll work. And it would have worked how I had it, but it just would have been annoying to keep cleaning it out every day. I think we're all set. Really happy I made this. It's an awesome little work area too. Hey, we're using it. <laughs> Perfect.